discussions on the security of digital financial services here at the 17th Global Symposium for Regulators in Nassau, Bahamas. I am joined now by Ms. Sue Kelsey, who is, we have to get this title right, the Senior Vice President and Group Head of Global Production Management for MasterCard. Thanks so much for talking with us today. You're very welcome. Pretty big title. Uh, you are here to speak on several topics at GSR 17. This morning you were part of the panelists that talked about technologies that protect e-transactions. And of course we understand why that would be an important topic for MasterCard. But you tell us what was discussed and why it was such a big deal for you to be a part of that panel. Yeah, sure. And thank you. Um, so, you know, I was saying this morning that when people think of MasterCard, they think credit cards, but the reality is, is that we are a payments network and fundamental to our business is safety and security. That is our number one priority. And no more is, nowhere is that more relevant than in, in this space where, you know, typically we tend to be dealing with relatively vulnerable populations. So the way that we go about uh, treating safety and security is ultimately through layers. We put layers of security in place. So the way that I think about this is imagine uh, the transaction passing through several doors. It's not just one door, it has to pass through several doors. So, uh, so what are these layers? Uh, one layer is all about data and using data. So we can use data to understand if there are any abnormalities or an unusual behavior, either at the card level, at the customer level, or at the country level. Uh, but then on top of that, we apply some very simple uh, and easy to use solutions, which are really beneficial in, this, in these audiences. So things like biometrics, you know, as an industry, we are moving away from security of things that you know, like pins and passwords uh, and moving to more about what you are. Mm -hmm. So fingerprints, voice, facial recognition. And uh, that can be very helpful because just imagine the number of passwords you have to remember for your own, uh, for your own use. Uh, it can be quite complicated. So we're trying to simplify all of that and use things like biometrics instead. Now you talk about this layer of security, but MasterCard just made an announcement recently, a few months ago, that you want to speed up the transaction process. Mm -hmm. Now, it must be important to keep, how do you, a challenge to keep the safety and security aspect of it through yeah. all of those layers while speeding up the process? Yes, you know, and real-time authentication is, a, is key to that. So what do I mean by that? I mean uh, applying these uh, layers and having them happen at the time of interaction. Mm -hmm. So um, by using something like a fingerprint, that is real-time authentication. And so that allows us to move fast, but also with the safety that we, that we absolutely need for the network. Now, of course, MasterCard is no stranger to safety and security. It seems like you have it all down packed, but talk about the benefit of being on, uh, at this type of symposium and yeah. learning from other organizations. Yeah, you know, it's, um, it's such a good point because uh, nothing happens in isolation. Uh, this is all about partnership and collaboration. And, you know, it's great to see the private sector, the public sector, all really sort of getting in a room and trying to co-solve a lot of the problems that we have. So, you know, one of the big themes that came out this morning was about that collaboration. We talked about um, how interoperability is absolutely crucial for success, uh, not just from the end user's perspective, because that makes it easier for them, but because uh, ultimately we, we need to be um, all sort of be able, we need to be moving together as one industry to help solve these problems. So I would say collaboration was a definite theme that's come out, uh, interoperability to prevent, to create the scale and to create the, sort of the consistency in how we move forwards. Mm -hmm. Great, and I think this is a great point to transition to the next topic that mm -hmm. I want to talk about, talking about collaboration. You're also going to speak on Universal Financial Access 2020. You're kicking off day two with that discussion. What is that? Yeah, so um, so we have a there's, a, uh, there's a specific group of us who are working uh, as a specific working group about how do we really achieve achieve the inclusion, the digital financial inclusion at scale. And so um, Universal Financial Access 2020 through the World Bank and MasterCard has committed to uh, helping to drive the inclusion of 500 million unbanked into the financial system by 2020. That is our commitment to the World Bank. And we are pleased to be on that journey with many of the partners in the working group that we'll be talking to tomorrow. So, um, so we'll be talking about new ideas and projects that we can work on together uh, in order to sort of step change the growth. And I just want to end on a little fun note. Tell, tell us about, you know, being able to 
be a part of this symposium in the Bahamas? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can tell you that it's freezing inside and really hot outside. <laughs> but yeah, no better, no better place for, for us to be able to to take a moment and, and really reflect on the job that's ahead of us. But um, the palm trees certainly help. Oh. Thanks so much for joining us, Ms. Sue Kelsey of MasterCard, telling us a little bit about the protection of digital financial services and universal financial access 2020. Thanks so much.